What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Hardware Sense channel. My name is Ivan and today we're going to look at another interesting product. Those of you that have been with my channel for a while, you know that I really like those smart doorbell uh, cameras. And this is another offering. This one is the Hainvision Greed C1. I was approached by the company a couple weeks back and they wanted me to review this product. So obviously uh, I said, yes, I'm very interested. I love this kind of product. So they sent it free of charge. But again, all the opinions in these videos are mine. They're not reviewed by the company and all you're gonna see. And here are what I am experiencing with this camera, installing it, unboxing it, testing it and checking everything else for you guys. Before that, I have never heard about this company, but seeing some of the features on that camera, I was very interested. Uh, you will see on the side of the box, we have 2K resolution, Wi-Fi connection, 24 by seven recording, uh, chime included, which is wireless chime, voice messages. Uh, you can device share with uh, friends and family. We have day and night vision. We have two way audio human detection, instant notification, local storage, where you can put micro SD card on the doorbell itself. And it's IP65 waterproof. So if you put it outside of your door frame and it rains, uh, it's not gonna uh, obviously die because of the rain. Now we have uh, their own app that you can scan on the back of the box and install it. So great packaging. Uh, let's get on onto the unboxing and we'll see what's inside the box. All right, moving with the unboxing, Hainvision Greets C2 Smart Video Doorbell, 2K Ultra HD Vision. This is what we have on the side of the box, right here, all the mentioned functions. The resolution, the recording, voice messages, and everything else. And in the back, we have the app uh, download, serial numbers, and everything else. Overall, very nice presentation, very nice box removing this sticker and we're gonna slide the box out inside the little cover with a pull tab we're gonna take that up and we have a sticker very nice actually saying warning this property is protected by video surveillance and right here on the top i think we have a user manual slash quick start guide very well packaged actually very well outlined I'm actually impressed how nicely this user manual looks. QR code with the app, everything is in English, obviously. Uh, it says what's included. Very nicely, very nicely outlined. Nice big text, big pictures, uh, very good instructions. This is probably the best uh, user manual I am actually have seen in a while. A lot of those companies don't even provide you a user manual or if it is, it's gonna be smaller letters, English and Chinese. And inside we have another card with Heim's uh, support and contacts. Very nice to see that they have US support email and you can be contacting them through YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. And inside we are greeted with the contents. We have the wireless chime, the doorbell accessories, but let's pull these out and see what exactly is inside. All right, what's included inside? They have a full packaging that you can actually use completely to install it, including a screwdriver. We have a pin removal. This is to remove the chime or the doorbell out of the frame with some screws, mounting screws. We have a charging cable, which is USB to USB, micro USB. Fortunately, not USB-C here, but you know, it is what it is. We have another pin with more screws. That's extra cables for mounting. We have the star L shape key for removal. And we have two nuts when you connect the cables, tie them up with this. So full packaging with everything you need to install it. We have the wireless chime, which comes with three uh, 3.0a batteries and they're nice enough to actually provide you with the batteries right here you can install them inside but you can actually use uh rechargeable batteries we have some buttons on the top we have the reset volume and a uh, different ringtone buttons we're gonna test all these when we install it let's pull the camera out and see what's inside camera kind of compact actually look how big it is compared to my hands uh, definitely a lot smaller than my 360 camera that i have on my door currently uh, we have the push button and obviously we have the camera on the top uh, covered by plastic we're going to peel that off when we install it outside on the door and these are the two connection points for the cables 
Uh, this one does not have a built-in battery. Uh, definitely this one is mounting to your regular or the doorbell, whatever you have, which again, I'm gonna show you the whole installation process so you're gonna see it. But this is how it looks in the back. And we have slot for micro SD card here in the back and we have another USB. Uh, this is uh, when you're pairing the doorbell with a chime, you can plug it in uh, without connecting the power for it. Uh, outside first to kind of do the pairing system and all that stuff so that's nice uh, and we have this uh, screw right here when we mount it on this extender regular mounting plate which will uh, keep it flat on your door or door frame and we have the angle adapter we're gonna mount this we're gonna test it and we're gonna see how the viewing angles are with the adapter or without depending on the angle of the door uh, but it's not very nice to be uh, to have this included and not make you go and buy it separate a lot of companies do that Unfortunately, uh, I'm really really impressed that they were able to add this onto the packaging for now I'm really impressed with the build quality. We have a speaker in the bottom as well for the two-way communication and this is going to be mounting uh, going up first and then down and with the screw we're gonna have that down. So this is with the unboxing Let's move on with the installation and setting up the app and see how the video is done. On to the installation of the Grid C2. First thing we gotta do is gotta drill the holes into the wall where we can mount the adapter plate uh, real quick with the drill bit. Nice and easy, takes no more than a couple minutes. Then we're gonna put uh, the spacers inside, cut them off because they were too uh, long for that wall put the screws in through the plate make sure the cables go through the hole that it's in the middle and we don't forget them outside tighten them up real quick make sure that uh, we position that plate uh, specifically for the location to have a best possible view this is all done first step for me we're gonna scan the code real quick the QR code on the manual pull out the app This is the Haim Life app from the Google Play, uh, Play Store. Based on the instruction, next thing we gotta reset the camera, connect it to the Wi Fi. Have the QR code and the camera point towards the QR code on the app. This way they're gonna pair, get paired and connect to the network. Once we are done, we're good to go. We actually have the connection to the camera. Now we're gonna set up the chime. Comes with three batteries, we're gonna put those in. But if you don't wanna use the batteries, you can always connect it to a micro USB somewhere around the house. Once the batteries are inside, it will start flashing, indicating it's searching for it. We gotta keep them next to each other. Put the re push the reset button, then push the button on the camera, on the doorbell camera. They're gonna get connected uh, and the red light is gonna turn blue. Next thing on the list is actually installing the doorbell camera then uh, to the wall. First we're gonna attach the provided cables so we can tie them together with the cables coming out of our, our house. Uh, very nicely outlined on the menu again. Excellent, excellent user menu. You can follow it and it will not gonna make any mistakes here. Uh, we're gonna attach the next plate. This is the flat one that goes on to the angular ones Screw it with the two provided screws have the two cables and Make sure to follow the instructions to see which one is which so white is going on one side and the red one is going to the other side twist the cables time up with the wire nuts and uh, Kind of tuck them into the hole of the plate uh, and then mounting it going uh, top side first Now we discovered that there's no power so we got to use the patch between uh, the two uh, cables as instructions is uh, saying as well We have provided cables and now we have finally power we can put it in we can tie the final uh, bottom screw Where it keeps the whole camera together in place a final touch peeling off that protective film and we are good to go and use it Onto the app, we can see the live feed on the app. Checking it out, device information, uh, basic functions, 
these are some of the uh, things inside the app we have a message we can record actually a message to be left out uh, if somebody rings and we're not around we can change a different uh, ringtones four different ringtones for the chime and increase or decrease uh, the volume uh, next thing will, on the app will be uh, the motion detection there's different levels of motion detection uh, low medium and high and we can have only humans to be detected on motion so there are definitely plenty of options here to tailor around based on your needs and based on your environment uh, you can set up the actual uh, area where the motion can be detected and exclude some area if you don't need it to set a specific time for recording you can do exclude or include all days and the specific time uh, you can include do it at 24 hours or not Uh, cloud service is unfortunately not included you can try it for seven days free but other than that you can install your sd card and use that as cloud once in the app you have a live feed you have alarm message so when you click on the alarm messages you'll see all the recorded ones when the messages uh, when motion was detected and the camera uh, records it you can download these on your phone system messages there are nothing and the sharing history there is nothing currently but you can share the app with your friends and family if you want to uh, more there's a clear a cash app version all the other things here regular so sharing the device very easy again there's an instructional video as well you can use uh, share by qr code very easy again allow it and um, we have uh, the qr code this is the instructional video very informative very well done so go through that if you have any uh, confusion or you're wondering how to do it uh, you have to have the app installed on both phones and uh, every, each phone has a different qr code one of them will scan the qr code from the other and will be good to go final product we have the chime placed inside again it's wireless so you can put it whatever you want if you want to and the camera outside nicely uh, installed on angle just like we wanted it to be all right now on to the final conclusion all right conclusion time i am seriously impressed by this camera guys this is probably the best doorbell camera i personally have seen and tested in the past couple years and I'm so glad that this company reached out to me, send it for a test, because I am now going to recommend it to anybody, my friends, my family, you guys as well, and hear me out why. You saw the unboxing, you saw the installation, so here are the strong points in my part, what I'm seeing in this camera. Perfect packaging. They include everything you need, all the tools, minus the drill bit, but I'm sure everybody has one if you want to install it but extra screws, extra uh, little tools like screwdrivers, little bolts, cables, everything is pre-done for you to uh, not waste any time and to be ready to just go ahead and install it right away. Uh, this is absolutely amazing. All my other cameras I have, which are two or three, none of them included this kind of great package. None of them were even close to it. Great manual slash user guide. You follow it, you can never make a mistake because it's so well outlined and everything is perfect. App, app experience is great. I didn't see any problems with the app so far. Nothing has crashed, nothing has uh, you know, stuttered. It's good. Another thing to mention, compact size. The camera itself is very small compared to my 360 camera. It's probably three times uh, the size of it. Uh, obviously it doesn't have a built-in battery you have to hook it up to your cables for your doorbell but that's fine another great inclusion in the package is that adapter that it's tilted so when you mount the camera if it's too close to the wall it's not just half of the screen be be taken by the wall but actually it's going to point to the correct uh, angle where you want it to be pointing this is absolutely key and trust me i have never seen among the other cameras i have Companies include those adapters sometimes. They ask you to buy them separately, which is an extra cost. Great thing by High Vision, including it in the package. So, uh, so nice to have that. Another thing to mention, 
Motion detecting, very, uh, very quick, very snappy, immediately gives you an uh, alert to your phone. Two-way communication is good, the volume is good, the internal chime is great. You can choose to use batteries and just move it around the house, whatever you want to have it, or you can plug it in with micro USB cable somewhere with a charger or outlet and just keep it in one spot, it's up to you. This is a great versatility and I like uh, the way this is handled. Uh, you have different uh, modes, different uh, sounds of the chime, you have a volume, so this is more and more uh, versatility added to the whole package. Two-way communication, like I mentioned, is great. You can e actually even respond uh, to a doorbell with a message instead of picking up live and speaking with whatever it's out there. Quality is good. Obviously, I'm gonna do a long-term testing, just like my other cameras in a couple of months. Uh, I'm gonna show you footage from uh, during the night, during the day, probably uh, during uh, a rain or all kinds of conditions to kind of test that IPX65 uh, uh, that it's in this camera, see how it handles different conditions and different lighting situations. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll declare it a, a winner, but so far the quality looks great. Um, and one of the other great things about it is currently on Amazon, this camera sells for $80. And at the moment they have 20% off. So consider that how much cheaper this camera is compared to the other ones I showed you or some of the more known brands. So definitely if you wanna help the channel, if you wanna buy this camera, I'm, I'm gonna leave an affiliate link down below uh, in the description uh, from Amazon with no extra cost to you. You're gonna be able to grab this camera, help the channel, help the company. And I'm not just saying it, but I'm just impressed comparing uh, to all the other ones I have in my possession. For the price, uh, not even for the price, if it was more expensive, I will still recommend it because the features and the whole package and the way things are handled, uh, I did not see a single issue. Just keep in mind, you have to have uh, Wi-Fi that it's 2.4 gigahertz, you cannot use five, but this is pretty much self-explanatory. It's outlined in the user manual as well. Most of you that have these kind of devices are aware of that. So keep that in mind. And the other minor negative, but again, it's worth mentioning is there is no free cloud storage. Some of the other cameras I have, have at least 48 hours of cloud storage free that uh, all the videos are stored. So you really, you don't have to use local storage micro SD cards. But in this one, if you want your videos to be recorded, you have to plug in a micro SD card into the camera itself. And later, when you connect with the phone through the app, you can actually download those videos. Uh, you can set up the length of the video recording between one and three minutes. Uh, all kinds of settings you can set up, uh, sensitivity and stuff like that. But still, ideally, I would love to see a free cloud storage at least for you know 48 hours or even 24 hours. It's still better than not having one. But again, that's worth mentioning. Uh, again, I think uh, this. This is my new favorite uh, doorbell camera right here. And uh, I hope you guys like what I did with the testing. That's pretty much it. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you're new. There's a lot more hardware coming to you guys very, very soon. I have some very exciting things. Some super nice gaming laptops coming out. Some gaming desktops, some other hardware. You guys are gonna love it. And as always guys, till next time, you have a wonderful day.